Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the West Ham Career Mode. The season is about to start, boys. We are so close to the in real life Premier League season to start and also getting closer and closer to FIFA 19. But guys, let me just say something. You failed. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be coloring my hair for the season finale. You guys have actually messed up after keeping it up. For 11 episodes, every single episode having over 4,000 likes in the last episode, even though it had a huge amount of views, you guys didn't reach the 4,000 like target, which means that I now get to keep my regular hair color and don't turn into a clown for the last episode. So thank you. Thank you very much, boys, for keeping this alive. <laughs> I appreciate that. And now you can just hit the like button as much as you want to. I can already see this video getting like 1,500 because you're upset that I'm not getting the colored hair. But hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. I appreciate you guys supporting the videos the way that you have been. Now, though, let's get into the West Ham career mode. And we also got to take a look at the Premier League title right now. We are currently, with the voice crack, if you just realized it, with the we, um, we are currently only 13 games away from the season finale, and we are on 50 points, Manchester City right behind us, uh, one game less, if they do win, it will definitely overtake our position, and Chelsea also still in the mix, if they do win their game, there will be four teams within two points of each other, going for the title and that is something that I love seeing. I love having like a huge battle towards the end of the season where everything is just exciting, every game is a final. That's what we are going for boys. And now let's let's talk about one thing that I obviously did wrong in the last episode. I kept on saying his name is Kebayos because I had no idea how to pronounce it but apparently it's this way. Ceballos. The double L is like a Y and uh, the C is like a S. So Ceballos. There we go, boys. I promise I will try my best to pronounce it the right way. But the big Real Madrid talent has joined us in the last episode on a loan deal, which I'm very happy about because we just didn't have the cash. And now he will be the man coming into the team, helping us out in the midfield, especially in that center midfield position. And he's an all-rounder, though. We can use him in many positions. So we will give him a chance to play and prove how good he is within these next games. But one thing that I want to point out is apparently West Ham want uh, three players from Porto. Marega, Brahimi and also Pereira. That's what I have seen. Um, they are apparently going for Lucas Perez from Arsenal. Uh, they are buying him for like four million and they also want another one. Ah, who was the other one? Oh yeah, there we go. Carlos Sanchez uh, who played for Aston Villa. Uh, I think he was Colombian, if I'm not mistaken, the guy with the afro. Um, I don't think that those two transfers actually would make a difference. I see both of them as squad players. Uh, they are also apparently going after Danny Drinkwater, which I could see a as a decent signing. Um, he could be a good one to play alongside Wilshere, but I think they just need that strong guy. In my opinion, Danilo Pereira would be the perfect player for West Ham, but hey. That's, that's just me, right? I am making my decisions on FIFA. Real coaches are making their decisions in real football. Now, last episode, we talked about Vidal joining Barcelona. I asked you guys, do you like the transfer, yes or no? It was pretty much 70% of the people saying that they don't think Vidal fits into the Barcelona style of play, and then 30% saying he's going to be a decent midfielder for them. Um, I personally am just looking forward to see how well he'll be playing and how he will integrate himself into that team. It's going to be interesting. I still think that Barcelona wants someone else. And they have apparently, which is something really funny. They have apparently offered Andre Gomez uh, plus someone else and 50 million for Paul Pogba. And the Manchester United fans were laughing their asses off on Twitter saying like, what is that offer? That's never going to be happening. And I don't think so. But Pogba would be an amazing player at Barcelona, in my opinion. He could improve so much more playing under that style of football. That's just personally what I think. I think he would be a much more attacking player. And he would be 
much more in demand of holding control in the midfield while he can share his duties at Manchester United I think at Barcelona he would have to be the man in the midfield but a couple of transfers have happened Moses Simon the talented left wing has actually joined Levante for only 5 million that is nothing in terms of like Premier League money anyone could have gotten this guy but apparently they don't think of him as that much of a talent as FIFA thinks. He has always been a decent talent on FIFA, as you guys know. And then another one that happened is Roussillon, the, the amazing left back from Ligue 1. I think he had a team this season this year. He moved over to Wolfsburg for only 8 million and he's only 25. And I'm sitting here thinking, how could anyone let this guy go? It's just crazy. And another one, big one, Axel Witzel has joined Dortmund. Now that one, oh great pass, that one is very awkward for me and I've heard rumors about him getting like 10 million a year. If that is actually true, I, I have lost all faith in football because for me personally, Witzel is not that much of an amazing player and he's 29 years old already. If it was only the 20 million for his, um, for his transfer fee and then like a regular um, salary that any other player in the Bundesliga would get in that position, I would say it's fine. But if he's actually getting 10 million, it's crazy. What do you guys think about that one? Let me know in the comments down below. Witzel, do you think he'll be good? Woo! What a goal by Antonio! Let's go! What a strike! Oh, yes! Oh, wow! I'm actually surprised by that one. I did not expect that one to go in. That was an amazing shot. By the way, I can't wait for FIFA 19 timed finishing. I want to learn that to perfection. I can't wait for that one to come around. But um, what do you think about the Witzel transfer, man? It is a big one for Dortmund. I'm kind of worried about Dahoud's position in that team. I kind of feel like Dortmund are slowly moving away from Dahoud. But uh, hopefully they're not. He's a very, very good talent. Another transfer that has happened is Rashid Gezal from AS Monaco has joined Leicester City to replace, yes, Riyad Mahrez. So another Algerian taking over his position, basically. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how well he plays. I've, ne I've never really seen him play. He has apparently joined 14 mi million euros. So that is not a lot of money. Uh, they definitely got a lot more from Mahrez. So um, I guess Leicester City will be very happy about that amount. And they're still in talks with Manchester United apparently about the sale of uh, Maguire. So if they do sell him as well, Leicester City will have made around like 100 million from those two players alone. So I'm expecting them to still go hard in this line last week of the transfer window to try and build a much much stronger team but uh we'll see what happens right there Woo. good run from lancini there lancini stops go on yes lancini to make it 2-0 against uh, Bro uh brighton i was about to say bromswich for whatever reason west bromswich yeah sure bromswich <laughs> It's West Bromwich, Albion, isn't it? I'm going to Google that one right now. I want to know. West Brom... Yeah, Bromwich, not Bromswich. What? Ooh, Pascal Gross with the pass and Izquierdo hits the post. Now, uh, coming back to the career mode, man, um, I'm really happy with the way the team is performing. Sadly, the uh, not saving thing from the last episode set us back just a little bit because... We couldn't sell Cresswell, we had to sell uh, Reed and that kind of sucked, but that's the way it goes sometimes, you just forget about a few things and uh, they have a big impact on whatever you are doing. Now, going back to our team right here, I am just incredibly impressed with the way this team has shown to be a team that can push me to play the 4-3-3 formation properly, because in the past, I've been using the 4-3-3 formation multiple times and I always switched away from it because I just couldn't play it properly. So I always switched to like 4-1-2-1-2, 4-3-3-1, 4-3-3-1, 4-3-3-1, 4-3-3-1, 4-3-3-1, 4-3-3-1, 4-3-3-1, 4-3
4-2-3-1 mostly and try to play in those formations because I just couldn't use the 4-3-3 to the best of my abilities in most of my career modes. In some of them, I think we used it. I think in the Leeds United career mode, we used the 4-3-3 with Clover down the wings and that was quite okay. But with West Ham, with Felipe Anderson and Yarmolenko, it has proven to be the right formation. Um, we have tested it out for a long time now and I think this is going to be the formation until the end of the season. I don't think I should be changing anything if I have like one or two games of a bad run. I'm not going to be changing the formation. I am going to be changing the starting lineup maybe because we're now we actually have some great substitutes on the bench who can come into the starting 11 and do a great job. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. Andone. They're coming back. 50th minute. Here they come through the middle. Andone, the guy who scored the first goal. Pavard. The ball is dropping right in front of them. How lucky, man. Ah, that is just very frustrating. Look at that. It just bounces all over the place. And it's a good finish from Mbarba. It's 2-2. West Ham. Come on, boys. We got to do a lot better than this. We are making a couple of changes right now. It is actually Ceballos joining into the game. Uh, Natovic will be coming in as well as Antonio goes down to the wings. And Ellis will be coming in in the right wing position as Felipe moves down into the center. Yedlin, big steal. Here we go to Ceballos. He gets the ball back right there. Beautiful. Ceballos is on the run. Ooh, he's about to score. No, he's not. What's happening? Nah, it would have been the perfect debut for the young man. Back into Antonio. Antonio, go on. Yes, Antonio has done it. <laughs> I know we were terrible in the defense right there in this game. We gave away a 2-0 lead, but Antonio coming in clutch. Look at that. He turns one way, turns the other way. Three defenders are going the wrong way. Without a fake shot, without anything, just regular dribbling. And his finishing is perfect. Two goals for Antonio. Definitely the man of the match in this one. Come on. Come on. Stop that. Stop that. No. No. Fabianski. Oh, boy. How the hell did he save that? I'm so happy he saved it. I did not expect that to actually happen right there. Goalkeeper is out. Ceballos. Please. Oh my god. What is that? <laughs> I tried to kick it far. I tried to hit the target. But he just does that. I'm going to take it boys. 3-2 victory against Brighton right here. And not against... West Bromswich. Now things are looking quite all right for the Premier League title race at the moment. Since we did win that game just now, we will be simming this one against Watford. Though I don't know if my first team seems to be fit right here. Um, I gotta say I was, I, I like the way Ceballos was moving. He felt very good with his dribbling. Um, at times felt like Isco. I uh, used Isco a couple of times through FIFA's and he felt quite similar. Maybe it's like the stature of him and uh, the way that he dribbles. So he was quite good, but obviously we only saw him for like 15 minutes so far. So I'm expecting a little bit more in the future. But we are going down 1-0 to Watford. Yarmolenko scores again from a penalty. Come on then, boys. We can't be drawing against Watford right now. I think we have beaten them before. Come on, someone score in the late minutes. Come on! Ah, it's only a draw, really? That is not satisfying. I was hoping that at home we could be winning that game easily, but it's only one point coming out of that one, which allows the other teams to catch up even more right now. So we're going to be taking a look at the league table after a train our youngsters. Oh, God. Oh, no. I wanted to win the FA Cup. That's what I said at the start, but... We are now coming up against Manchester United in round five. Are you kidding me, man? Can't you give me an easier opponent than that? We have beaten Manchester United, though. I'm going to check my record against Manchester United right now. So far, we have, I remember, played against them once. I don't know if we played against them twice, though. Yeah, we haven't. Yeah, we only played against them once, and that was the first game of the season. 3-2 victory. So hopefully, now that our team is a little bit stronger, 
we can get a decent result again. But it is a knockout match, so I'm guessing they'll be putting a little bit more effort into it. All right, now, the thing is, we are playing this game at Old Trafford, and that's going to make things a little bit tougher on ourselves. But as you can see, there's a huge piece of shadow on the pitch, which you guys know, hey, I'm the biggest fan of shadows in FIFA games. Just put it so that the sun is right above the stadium. Nobody cares if it's realistic or not. Nobody cares if in real life the sun never crosses the top of the stadium. Just put the freaking sun right on top of it. I don't need shadows. No one does. Now, the lineup of Manchester United is looking quite interesting, as you can tell right here. De Gea, Lindelof, Smalling, Shaw, De Marcos, Herrera, Pogba, Fred, Lukaku, Lingard, Martial. The new transfer, Fred, will be coming up against us. De Marcos down the right is an interesting transfer. United coming in early. It's a good cross. Yedlin against Martial, who just scored two goals in the last match, apparently, I just read. Before this match started, Lingard with a great turn right there. Reminds me of the one that Antonio had in the last game. Pogba. Pogba. Can't get the ball off of him. Can't get the ball off of him. Until now, I, I passed it already, but it didn't happen. I would have been very, very mad if that went in. We will be bringing it down with Lancini. Lancini looking for Jan Morenko. He still has the ball. It is going to be offside, isn't it? What? Oh, that's, it's, it is offside. I was like, what? How did that even go in? What a shot, though, from Lanzini. Good stuff as we lose the ball. Great stuff. Whew, Pavard. What a crucial tackle that was. And then what a bad pass that was from me. Pogba, Lukaku. Of course, I have to do something really nice with Pavard. And then I have to mess it up immediately. <sighs> Lukaku. Good finish. On his left foot, no chance for Fabianski. 1-0 down in the FA Cup, a trophy that I genuinely want to win because the Premier League title is not something that we will 100% win. It will be very, very hard fought. But until then, I would like to get this trophy right here. Look at that. Look at that pass. Martial, it is a penalty. Great, great. Great. That should be a red card for Diop, to be honest. We are giving away a penalty, and it looks like Manchester United might be going up 2-0. Or Fabianski saves this. Nope, he does not. Lukaku with two goals. Great pass into Jack Wilshere. Here we go with Lancini. Lancini tries. Antonio keeps a hold of the ball. Jack Wilshere, he has scored for us a couple of times already. Now it's a beautiful pass. Lancini, Jack Wilshere, go on, son. 45th, right before half time. We do score. This game is not over yet. Passing play on point. Lancini, great dribbling as Jack gets a little bit of space and puts it into the bottom left corner. And the here. Doesn't stand a chance right there. We are not giving up. Philippe Anderson looking for help. Not finding anyone. Lancini, good stuff. Philippe Anderson down the wing. He cuts inside. Goes in there, plays it. Pass the ball. What are you doing? Oh, we got a penalty. De Gea did take down Antonio, I think. Oh, thank you, De Gea. Thank you so much. Because I was struggling getting in there, man. And Antonio did get taken out. Now, I am going to be making changes before I take this penalty. Lancini, Jack Wilshere, Yarmolenko, Ellis, Kebaios, or Sebaios, sorry, and Arnautovic. Uh, who is the best penalty taker? 77 on Arnautovic, and he's going to be taking it, boys. Arnautovic into the bottom right. Nope, the bottom left. Oh, I was right. I had to go right. Why did I switch it up? Felipe Anderson is on the run. Arnautovic is making his run. Ah, what a tackle to intercept that one by Lindelof. Yedlin, please. Danilo Pereira, good steal. Here we go with Ellis down the right-hand side. Ellis gets it into Felipe Anderson. Felipe, Arnautovic. Here we go. Ceballos. Yes! He has done it. The new transfer. What? What's going on there? <laughs> he has scored. 87th minute. Come on. We're back into it, boys. The FA Cup. 
is still alive for our team. As Ceballos gets it past David De Gea with a driven shot. Ah, he reacted a little bit late, but I'll take it, man. That is so important. His first goal for the club is a huge one. 90th minute now. Can we get one more attack in, maybe? Can we get one more attack in? I think we might be able to do so. Here we go now. Arnautovic is on the run. Go on, son. Arnautovic. Philippe Anderson. Pass. Antonio. Does that count? No, it's offside. No. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I thought it wasn't offside. No, I should have passed it to freaking Ceballos, who was right there. I shouldn't have risked it. What a mistake. That will cost us big time. Manchester United wasn't able to beat us at their home ground. Their fans are not happy with the performance. They were 2-0 ahead of us, but we somehow brought it back. And now things are looking like, uh, yeah, we, we got to play this game at home again against Manchester United. This tie is not over yet. United is fighting and we are as well. It was a very balanced out game. And it was a very entertaining game at the same time. Very happy for the new transfer to score a goal. Things are heating up. Manchester City has taken over. They are in the first position. Chelsea two points behind us. Spurs not looking too good right now. It looks like they might have already given up on the title run. But... We are up against Liverpool and that is not going to be an easy game, boys. We just played against Manchester United. We will be up against Liverpool and the Manchester United game will be replayed quite soon. And then after that, we'll have to play them again. Ay, 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 ay. This, this is a tough season for sure. That game was fun to play though. I really enjoyed myself. I love coming back and even getting so close to winning. That last chance, I can't believe I bottled it, man. I genuinely can't. But Ceballos seems to be a good transfer, guys. I really, really like him. I genuinely do. But uh, the only position that I'm not too happy with is Yedlin. The guy has pace, don't get me wrong, but he is definitely not the best defender. Hands down, he is probably the worst defender in our defense. Not probably, 100%. He's the worst defender in our team. And it's not just about the pace. You need like a middle ground. And I think Yedlin doesn't get there with his rating at the moment. And we can't even train him up properly. He doesn't have that arrow anymore. So that means it will take quite a long time for him to be trained up. So yeah. That's the deal with that right back position. Not happy with that one. Let me know which right back do you think would be fitting into this team perfectly in the comments down below let me know also do you think we will bottle this season or is there actually a chance of us winning that title city has just overtaken us let me know in the comments down below guys i'm really looking forward to read through them and see if you guys do believe in our team or not but i can tell you this much we got some big big teams coming up in the premier league we still have <coughs> sorry we still have Liverpool ahead of us. We still have United ahead of us. Chelsea, Arsenal, Manchester City. And then we have these two right here. Leicester City and Everton to finish up the season. So we do have a couple of big ones just waiting for us to play against them. Four big, big teams. And then Liverpool obviously being the fifth that we are about to play against. So from the remaining 11 matches of the season... We have five really big opponents and that could be very, very bad for West Ham. I'm going to try my best. The title is the target, boys. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely love you guys. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button for this video. And we'll see each other next time. And definitely without purple hair for the final. Because you failed. Take care. Peace.